We signed up on fighthive.com. <laughs> Here with Ryan. So first of all, man, I know you fought in Mexico. Yeah. Tell me about that experience, man, because it, it's not the same as the U.S. How, how was the experience out there? Way different, you know. They got their rules uh, less strict, but it was good. Uh, Mexico treated me good. It was fun. Yeah, I liked it. What made you What made you turn pro over there? Was it you couldn't wait to get started, or what, what caused you to go over there? Well, I was ranked number one in the USA, and they changed the age group. You had to be 19 to go to the Olympics, so I wasn't going to make the age cut, so I wanted to go pro, and I was only 17, so I decided to go pro in Mexico. Man, so, the, the, like, when you watch the Olympics now, the part of you wish Oh, yeah, you were... I'm sad. Yeah, I'm sad about it, because, you know, I wanted to be right there, you know, fighting for a gold or something, you know, and uh, I didn't get the opportunity, but it's fine, you know, on to the pro ranks. So, um, I, I think you won like 15 national titles. Yeah, 15 like, national titles. Man, yeah. like, how, how, first of all, before we start, how did you get into boxing though? I mean, like, you know, a lot of kids can do a lot of different things nowadays. You got into boxing. What got you into it? Well, I was uh, around six years old playing baseball, you know. Uh, baseball just, you know, they gave me the worst <laughs> trophy you could think of. So I told my dad, can I find like something that's going to give me something bigger? Yeah. And uh, of course, my uncle was a boxer before and he said, uh, well, try boxing. You can win a bout. And I said, I'm out. So, of course. And then I went, and then uh, that's how my boxing career started. My uncle started training me. Right, so was it was it easy for you at first? Was it hard? Because everybody's different. Some guys are natural. Yeah. Some guys got to work at it. I had a natural ability. Uh, my jab always had that snap on it. So ever since I threw my first jab, they they felt it. So uh, I was. Uh, you can say I was talented, yeah. So, you probably don't know, the first time I saw you, and I don't even think you knew I was in the gym, was at 10 Goose. Yeah, I didn't even know. And you were, I'm not going to say who the fighter was, you yeah. were part of a pro fighter. Yeah. And I was impressed because you were getting the better of it, man. Yeah. I mean, where did that talent come from, and how is it when you, you could even give pro fighters a good fight? Uh, it's just from my experience, I believe, from the amateurs, I've just seen so many styles, so... And, and as you train in Tengu's helped me adapt to a lot of pro fighters, you know, six rounds, seven rounds. You know, I wasn't used to that, I was used to doing three rounds, but the more I sparred over there, the more I knew how to pace myself and uh, wear a fighter down, so that's how I had the experience to do good with that pro fighter. So who were some of the fighters you kind of like borrowed from or, or when you were going up you were looking at, or oh, even today? Yeah, I've only looked at two fighters, Floyd Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya. Those were my two favorite and that's who I look up to. Yeah, that's who I studied throughout my career. Well, I, I could definitely see the Floyd stuff because you're slick, you had yeah. good defense. Is that something that you had to work on or did it, that, that come natural? Because you were so slick in that ring, man. You weren't getting hit and you were, you, were, you know, yeah. making them pay. Um, yes and no. Um, before I had great reaction, you know, but I learned over the time you know, how to catch punches, you know, and all that. But uh, I always had great reaction, so if I seen a shot, I, my, my muscles twitch. So, yeah. so, so the speed comes natural too, you didn't have to work at it? Yeah, at I didn't have to work at it, but of course I still work on it, even though I have some, you know. You can't be satisfied where you're at, you gotta improve. So, so, how do you feel, man? Like, you're highly touted, with national titles, great amateur background. Feel a little bit of pressure coming in. It's your first fight in the U.S. You feel a little bit of pressure. How do you take to, to everything that's going on around you? I don't feel pressure because I've been on big stages before, nationals, finals, a bunch of people there. You know, those are those are pressureful too because there's only three rounds and you gotta go. Yeah, you can no mistake. So this, I feel a little bit more comfortable. Eight ounce gloves, you can hit harder. I've always, I never liked the amateur gloves. So the pro gloves, I just feel hundred times better. So I'm not. Nervous at all, man. So, so uh, you know, you say you, you only watch two fighters, Floyd and Oscar. Yeah. What attracted you to Floyd the most? Floyd, just his way to adapt to a fight and how to mentally break down his fighters. It was just incredible to see him do it, and uh, he hasn't failed. I mean, his style is just impressive, and uh, nobody has been able to crack the code. So that's why draw me to him, man. Oscar. Shoot, who wouldn't like Oscar Delahoy? He's a beast, and he had that left hook like I got. I got a great left hook, so of course I like Oscar Delahoy too. Have you met either one before? Uh, I met uh, Floyd. I didn't meet Oscar. I almost came close to meet Oscar, but it is what it is. So, so Floyd's watching this because he, he's on our channel all the time. What, what would you tell Floyd? I say, Floyd, uh, I look up to you, and uh, thank you for showing me how to uh, show me the the path on way way to go and uh, thank you what you did in boxing thank you awesome. and then just last out for the fans man what can we expect from you from ryan garcia and, and, and not just this year but the rest of your career you're gonna see an explosive fighter uh talented and uh hopefully a future superstar and not hopefully shoot i am gonna be a future <laughs> there superstar. You go. and uh there it is look out for me king ryan my guy man appreciate the interview thank you so much man